Welcome back here to another video on the Giant Take Podcast YouTube account. Um, we're very excited, or I'm very excited to bring you this one. Obviously, you can tell that Alex is in here for this film review. It's going to be a film review on backup quarterback Mike Glennon. He's going to be replacing um, Colt McCoy on the New York Giants, uh, on the New York Giants step chart. I'm guessing he's going to be second overall behind Daniel Jones, a veteran uh, presence kind of being brought in here by the New York Giants, 31 years old. Uh, last season, 62% completion percentage, 1,072 yards. That's six yards uh, average per um, throw, I guess, for, for throw and catch yards per average. Yep. Uh, and then tight uh, touchdowns, sorry, seven touchdowns, and he had five interceptions. So we'll have to see what happens this season. I have a few clips pulled up. I'm doing, I'm recording this on Zoom, trying to be different from the stream yard. Um, so, you know, you might not see this video, but if you do see this video, it means everything worked out well and hopefully everything's good there. Uh, but I have some clips pulled up. I'm not going to lie. A lot of them are negative, but we'll get into it. And let's start out with this first play. I'm going to share my screen and we will do this right now. All right. So let's get into the first play. We have Mike Glennon here lining up. Um, and let's let's start this one here. So. I'll make it full screen. All right, so we have Glennon right now in the shotgun. He's got three receivers to his right and immediately pressured by the Indianapolis Colts, which leads him to fumble the ball, um, and the Colts take it back pretty far, but then they fumble. It goes out of bounds, but obviously it retains uh, to the Colts. Um, the play the play actually stood as a fumble, but here we go. We got Glennon in the pocket. Obviously, you see the cornerback number 23 on the left side, fake blitz, then he kind of goes back into coverage and then, and then uh, goes in. But you basically see that it wasn't really his fault, Glennon. Um, obviously, it was just a swarm of Colts defenders. But, I mean, you kind of got to hold on to the ball. But I guess we'll – I'll show you once again because this does happen very fast. I'll show you this in slow motion. We'll slow it down here. So, right now, already, look at this. You have 97. You have 53. Um, obviously, 58 goes back into coverage. And then just swarms in. And you obviously see uh, – let me go back just a second. You see number 53 driving in around like from right to left into Mike Glennon and you see that um let's see which offensive lineman is it so it's actually the running back on the play that's supposed to block he doesn't block a number 53 so it takes an easy lane right in and obviously when Glennon senses the pressure sets back to throw that's when the fumble and the ball comes out and basically travels like 10 yards um and, and then that's a first play so you know that's the first play to start it off and we'll, and we'll go from there see what happens here so let me pull up the next one this is against the Bears. Mind you, mind the score, uh, 41-10. The Jacksonville Jaguars are getting crushed here. Um, but we'll, we'll give you this. Mike Glennon sets up in the shotgun, steps up in the pocket, throws it deep, and just a dime to LaVisca uh, Chenault Jr. Um, a very good play, actually, by Mike Glennon here. We'll see it in a second, um, how he sets up in the pocket. So I, I love this angle right here. Um, you can clearly tell that he's there, senses the pressure, moves out left, throws a dime, and just caught in the end zone by Lewis Chenault. Nothing really else to, to say here. I mean, we'll, we'll check it out um, once again. Oh, this is another play. Um, just give it a second. I'll go back to the play um, in a second if I can just get it back. So you normally, Alex, has this stuff. Oop. So, you know, what? We'll, we'll just go on to the next play. But I think it was actually this play that I was going to. But um, just a great job by... by uh, by Mike Glennon stepping up in the pocket, moving to the left side uh, and getting it done. But we'll go on to this one. Here's Glennon once again in the shotgun. I think it's the same game, actually. And he just throws it. And I would say it's a bit underthrown, but then intercepted by Malcolm Butler. So we'll see it in a second from, you know, his angle uh, behind the behind the play. Or, yeah, there we go. So we have Glennon Robinson lining up to his right. And Glennon fakes the handoff. He's looking for an option. And just kind of... I would say it's a good play by Butler. Obviously, he was trying to throw to DJ Chark, uh, debatably, probably the number one receiver for Jacksonville. So, ball kind of underthrown. I think it's just a great job by Butler. Look at him jumping over Chark. If anything, it's a perfect ball that's kind of just picked off by Malcolm Butler there. But just another clip that I pulled up that I thought I should mention in this uh, film review. But yeah, like I said, so so far we haven't had the the most negative or positive plays. Obviously, now you see it's a big situation. 2020 uh 24 24 so look at look at the play situation right now it's 24 24 737 left here in the third quarter so here's glennon once again in the shotgun it looks like allenson to his right 
He's got a receiver on each side and a receiver busting out here and he throws it and it's intercepted once again. So this one is definitely, um, it, it's Mike Clement's fault. Obviously he overthrows the ball. Um, it doesn't look like he knows where the target is. I mean, a great pick by 22, but let, let, we'll slow this down. Um, and you'll look at this ball. So right there, you already see it. The ball, if you could tell where my mouse is, it's right up here. And you have the receiver over here. So you can tell this ball is going right there uh, to, to the safety. And then just completely misreads him. So probably this receiver is over here at the 40 while this ball is going towards the end of the Vikings logo in midfield. And you could just kind of see the pick. Yeah, so right there he lands right by the Vikings logo. So just a misread by Mike Glennon. And I'll, I'll do it in full speed once again. Um, here we'll see it just now. And I'll play it out. So you see Glenn in the shotgun, obviously, cocky back, throwing the ball, and then just completely misreading it, which is fine, right? This is why he's a backup quarterback, um, and, he, and he was as well for the Jacksonville Jaguars, but just showing you that, you know, it wasn't the best play by Mike Glennon, I'll tell, I'll tell you that much. So here we have another one. This one's against the Cleveland Browns, and you see Glenn in here. He's going to fake the handoff to James Robinson. He's going to throw it deep. And a perfect ball once again by Mike Glennon. I mean, we're going positive negative here, but what a play to Johnson. Johnson gets a touchdown, does a little dance. But, I mean, we'll take a look at it here at this angle. Um, and Glennon's lining up right behind the center. He's going to fake it to Robinson. And then the awareness. So that was obviously his first read. He doesn't take any second looks. That probably was in the play script. But, I mean, if you slow it down, right there, boom. Fakes the hand off to Robinson. The minute maybe looks up a second to look for number 19 over here, but then doesn't see him open, turns his head really quickly to that right side and just guns it uh, and a great throw. Oh, so the throw actually is to number 19. So he looks in the middle to see where he is, I guess. So yeah, it's definitely a scripted play. Looks to see where he is and then throws it on the side uh, of the right side to him, to Johnson, um, and obviously gets a touchdown as he goes down the sideline. I'll play it one more time in full speed so you can obviously see uh, the effect from this angle as I kind of slowed it down for the beginning here. And we'll get it right now. So here we go. So we'll play this in full speed. Fake handoff, looks at 19, quickly glances, throws a dime, and then gets it about the 23 and then runs it right into the end zone. So a good job finishing the play by Johnson, a good throw by Mike Lennon. And let's knock out these few final clips here. Browns game once again. Or actually, this might be the same play. Yes, this is the same play. So we have one more play here. And then we'll wrap this one up on Mike Glenn. And obviously, once again, Alex is, is better with these camera motion or these uh, you know, sharing the screen type of thing. So we have the Packers game. Packers up 7-0. And Mike Glennon just sets back. He's looking for an option. And just nothing there. Um, obviously picked up by the 49ers. And we'll, and we'll go back to it. Um, this wasn't last season. This was a few seasons ago with the Chicago Bears, as you can tell. But Glennon looks, sets up right behind. And obviously the Packers, uh, they're not sending a blitz because you could tell the linebackers here, 47 and 50, uh, are kind of just staying in coverage. And then 47 kind of goes for it. But you can just tell number... Who is that? Number 52 on the side. Is that Clay Matthews on the side? Kind of moves in and just goes for him. Looking, looking, looking. Not even seeing it. He sensed the pressure probably, but he didn't even see the pressure coming from that left side because he was looking towards the right. And then once again, once he releases that ball, kind of not even, and it's just gone. And then obviously picked up by the Packers. So that's going to be your, your film review on Mike Glennon. Obviously, we're going to have one coming soon for Kyle Rudolph later today. But, you know, just wanted to get a quick one out there. Hopefully, Alex will join me for the Rudolph one. Not the best performance by me on that one, but I hope you still enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, drop a like, and we'll see you next time.